Hello and welcome back to Ash of Gods! It's time for Hopper Rooley to head out and uh, find Torn Brennan, I suppose. <clears throat> Approaching your new companions, out of the blue, I entered the royal service and found myself some good travel companions. We did? Looking at a man you haven't y yet met. <laughs> You're a new face to me. You probably got on the spiel about uh, our goals and reasons, but I still like a proper introduction. My name is Hopper Rooley, I'm a scribe. I'm Stein, of the obvious guards. The Geronons picked me up by the watchtower and pestered me with questions all the way. Now they sent me to com com accompany you. I'm not thrilled, but it's better than arguing with Prince Strieg. <coughs> you don't like you don't approve, Stein. Pfft. Look, I know Thorn Brennan. I'm and uh, <clears throat> I'm certain he wouldn't uh, kill without good reason. Uh, if anything, he tried to save the prince. I'll follow the orders and find them, but in my opinion, he's innocent. You're indeed a man of duty, following orders you disapprove of. For the time being, all you have to do is point Torn out to me when we catch up to him. <clears throat> Everybody has their own responsibilities. One of our captains thought differently. But Torn Brennan is another story. It's a father's duty to protect his children, and protect them he will. Had it not been for his cursed reaping, Torn might have replaced Trouble as Burgomaster. Many noble souls have ascended the scaffold, but very few have returned alive. Must you always escort me, Ake? I'll well, offer you want, I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm quite capable of handling a dozen gals all by myself, but taking down the town hall is another matter. You don't dare hex me, or I'll beat the living daylights out of you. I'm no sorcerer, Ake. The town hall was already falling apart, I just sneezed a little too hard. But thanks for the warning. You sneezed so hard that the cardinal himself uh, waded through the rubble to get you out. That's some achievement right there. Chance rules the world, Ake. That and strong fellows like yourself, if you're lucky. <laughs> Jolly good. It's time to go. We will get to know each other on the way. Don't get spooked if anything else crumbles like the town hall. Wait, wait a moment, book lover. His highness told me to give you a jug of the temple balm. Doesn't want you to be ill, I guess. I also granted you travel documents with his personal seal. Here you go. I'll make the journey easier. How curious. The prince showers uh, us with gifts for a job that isn't even half done. Well, if that all you have to say, let's head out immediately. Let's talk privately for a moment. There's a long road ahead and I'll need to tell you something. They say the cardinals bless you, so you're not just some filthy sorcerer, right? So you won't make fun of me? <clears throat> Tall as you are, you're forced to look up at the giant. You wait for him to say something. Uh, the thing is, whatever hag appeared to our prince in his dream, I saw a pretty girl, the one that Padagang thought he glimpsed, only I never mentioned her to anybody. Why didn't you? Did you pity the girl, or was it something else? Or how do you know it was the same girl? There are many pretty women in Burkana, more than anywhere else in the world, if you ask me. And I make your blood race, not curl, though. I, I, I nearly shed my pants when I entered my tent. The way she stared at me. And then, when, when she vanished into thin air, I decided that it would be best to keep silent about her. For appearance's sake. Why did you bring her up, then? So she came to me because of you. Tell your new, tell your new companion to look for signs, she said. If he values his life, he should uh, watch and listen closely. The signs uh, she mentioned should be found in burnt out coals or ruins or place where there's no water. Something crazy like that. Crazy or not, thanks for telling me. I'll wreck my brain for a way to save the prince and solve these puzzles. Let's go. Your ruler cannot wait to see us leave. <clears throat> you leap into your saddle with plenty to think about. Clearly. Koranzen received no message. It was addressed to you. 
Follow the guiding wand, collect the seven parts of wisdom, read them and be saved. Gods know uh, where these parts of wisdom might need. This guiding wand is also a mystery. It seems there is a long road ahead. No time for leisurely traveling to the far ends of Terminum. The Reaping, the Prince, Thorn and his daughter are all bound together. One can only pray that there will be no need to sever this knot. Okay, I'm I'm going with Hop Ruli now. I can just go. Do I should I go toward him? It might just be more efficient to go this way, Stone Bridge. Then we're gonna go to uh, Drivewood Village. Drivewood Village. Looks like we have no choice but to go there. When you reach the old Gabonon Watchtower, there's a band of guards at the gate. Ake recognizes their sergeant and rides out to talk. He comes back, sullen-faced. There's a ton of corpses, the watchmen inside the tower and a dozen of obvious guards outside. The ones outside had their ears and faces cut off. The giant offers to help bury the poor uh, wretches. I I'm, I'm sorry, Ake, you shrug. My services don't include grave digging. You're free to work the shovel, of course. Meanwhile, I think I'll take this a stroll. Come on, Hopperuli. You tried to get as far as possible from the place where the warriors of Burkana are being buried. The distance mutes the mournful funeral song. It's not that you don't care about the burial. Your need for silence drives you away. You're used to traveling alone. But now have company uh, forced upon you. As you stroll even further, several silhouettes appear on the road ahead of you. Their stature, but especially their masks, mark them as ansus. This is their time. The reaping has begun. Either they were afraid to attack a whole band of guards, or decided to make an ambush. They still haven't noticed you. Say hi! The soft ground muffles your footsteps. The abomination has only become aware of your presence when you're within 15 paces. It's almost comical, but the answers drawn swords wipe the smirk your, from your face. You're under attack. How surprising. Oh, what? I'm cursed. We can upgrade Hopper Ruli. Can we? What's with all the loading, game? I just wanna have to go to the level up menu. It's just gonna... oh. Well, I guess... I guess we're fighting. <coughs> I'm... I'm ready. Uh, let's go there. I can't even reach uh, that far. Uh, let's just skip. So I can go in there and do a big spin. That's my main skill. I can't take out that guy. Increases my energy. Also, they have counter-attacks, but this one doesn't. I just hit his energy. I think it should have the same outcome. Hopper Ruli, are you gonna get killed? Oh, he's cursed. He's about to die. He's slow. Some reason. Damn, Hopper Ruli, you might need to be more careful in the future. Despite your awesome uh, fighting skills. 
After the skirmish, you clean yourself up with a simple spell. No need to reveal your talents just yet. You return to the tower as soon as the mass grave is ready. You mount your horse and signal to Ake. It's time to continue the journey. Fair enough. Prince Trig's assignment and the curse that... Okay. So we have option, the secret path and the mountain pathway. If we go with the mountain pathway, we're gonna... Uh, I suppose travel twice. I just go there. That's some, some extra location to check out. Uh, with uh, Hopper Ruli. On the road or taking a rest, you can't shake the words in the town hall from your mind. Follow the guiding wand, collect the seven parts of wisdom, read them and be saved. You sit by the fire pondering the words true meaning. Are they meant to guide or ensnare? <sighs> They're meant to be useless. Why would someone curse you and then make a piece together? Make you piece together a countering spell? What's the point? What could it possibly mean? The world is changing, people are rising up against the reapers, an eerie achievement, uh, bewitchment, an unknown sorcerer and the darkness keeps creeping. You close your eyes, trying to remember everything you know about uh, previous reapings. Nothing makes any sense. It's as though different scent is in the air, something mysterious is coming. There's also the hand. <clears throat> Hey, scribe, you sleeping? What shall we do when we catch up the tour? We won't be able to capture someone like Captain Brennan with our bare hands. I'm not looking to start a fight, I don't like this idea. Besides, they say drawing your sword against Thorn is a sure way to die. We'll think about it when we catch up to him. We'll be traveling to the nearest Manir, per your advice. And, and I'm not drawing my sword, not unless there's a good reason. Whatever the case, I'll try talking to Torn first. The man isn't so simple. What's the game being What's the gain in being simple? I had a word with his servant, that tenor guy. When he was leaving the town. The only thing on Torn's mind is saving his daughter. Or the lost his wife, and now he only got his daughter and his sons somewhere in the service. I think it's best not to stand in Torn's way. Is Thorn really that good? <laughs> Captain Bren is the legend of Adala. Who hasn't heard of... <clears throat> Who hasn't heard of Matt Thorn? Maybe the best swordman in all of Burkana. A hero of the Gabonan War. A hero of the Northern Expedition and the Battle of Southern Isles. Though he's grown much older since his last escapade, battle experience is not easily forgotten. I don't think he'll be fighting back, sword or not. That if... Prince Ho is still alive, of course. I hope that's the case. <clears throat> Not only is Thorn an exceptional swordsman, he taught his daughter the same skills. I've seen her with a sword a couple of times. Girl swift as the wind, so better talk with Thorn than cross swords. Will Tree come calm down if we find his son? <laughs> I love to know that myself. I'm guilty of the same thing that made His Highness want to capture Captain Brennan. Had to kill a toll collector near a watchtower in self-defense. Well, at least I didn't borrow a prince. That's not the problem. If a ruler says something regrettable in rage, he won't be taking it back. Even once he calms down, it does not befit a man of stature to go back on his word. Besides, Thor's man, Thor's made quite a blunder in obvious. So many guards dead. Does Thorn have any benefactors? His, his, his father-in-law is supposedly a big fish, but they are not on speaking terms or something. Not sure. He's with the army now, I reckon. By the way, a servant of Thorn's named Tanner sailed off his house and moved west. Probably to his old master. He used to look after his daughter, but then managed to outlive her. His father-in-law is Count uh, Stackett Victi. Thor's servant was out in his wagon when I saw him by the gate. He ventured to Apakum to visit the Count. The Count's military governor now. 
So we're likely to meet uh, Tony Lopakum if we can find him sooner. Well, we still got to catch up to Torn. You're right about that. The road's dangerous. I saw some footprints near the spring. A couple dozen cavalry went by there just two days ago. The boots are definitely not from Burkana. They got a strange heel print. I've seen it too. Those are the footprints of the Ansys. The flowing manas took their corpses to the Albius watchtower, right? Should have looked at the boots sooner. <clears throat> Ansys or not, so what? Thorne and his man managed to hack him up, right? Are we any different? Hopper, the only thing is, that don't just jump into battle, yeah? Your knack for tearing down towers won't help you there. Better be safe. No one to upset the Cardinal, do we? Deal? boy. Alright, I'll go see if I... they left anything else behind. You think hard about what you've heard... you've learned. Torn piques your curiosity by the minute. Now there's just finding him and learning how he managed to withstand the Reaper. Listen, Hopper, I don't quite get you. What are you? Are you a healer or a wizard or uh, what you might call it? A penman? I even heard you're also a baron, without residence, most likely. And you're not young. How do you get by? They don't pay you a dime, do they? I capture Princess Stein. When someone disappears, I'm the one to turn to. I may have no regular allowance, but should I find the prince, I'll have enough money to gorge myself. Should I fail, however, I'd be best to avoid said kingdom for the next decade or so, if I want to keep my head attached. Still, I've been lucky so far. Want me to cut you in? Come on, Hopper Ruli! Why would you even offer that? No, sire. Burkha is a bit short on princes. Besides, it's a quite a long way between kingdoms, and my boots have worn through. I'd rather stay by the Albius Gate. If I ever return, that is. Mountain Bafe? Keep going! Searching for signs of the coming disaster yields few results. For now, your only clues are the frightened expressions of the travelers and traces of blood in the road. And so, when you notice an exhausted old traveler sitting and staring at the, the embers of dying, embers of a dying fire, you stop your horse. You call out uh, to the old man, but he doesn't acknowledge you. You suddenly remember the burnt-out coals Ake mentioned and dismount. Still, the old man might not be capable of coherent speech. It looks like a simple touch could uh, crumble him to ash. Perhaps you should leave the old man alone. If he wants to die, let him. Uh, check his stuff! Oh my god. I just offer him some water. You get your flask, open it and bring it close to the old man's dry, ma dry lift. lips. Motionless, he makes no effort to drink. He must truly be nearing the end of his life. Such is the human's hard lot. Life wears them out, just like old clothing. And one day, there is nothing left but rags. These don't seem like burnt out coals, Ake mentioned. Let's check his stuff! It truly seems the old man is at life's end. I... Really? The poor fool doesn't recognize his surroundings or hear you. His luggage holds nothing of value. A noise makes you turn around, and the old man's in his death throes. Yet another life threat cut. All you can do is mount your horse and ride on. Well, that was a bit of a waste. Alright, let's go! <clears throat> you feel the reaping grow stronger. Its shadow falls upon you. The curse that's crippled your arm is heading uh, to your heart. If if you give up and feed some of your power to the enhancement, you can prevent the reaping from growing in its strength. If you can resist and save your energy, the dark magic will tighten its grip on the world. I'm gonna resist the curse. The reaping grows stronger. Terminum plunges into chaos. The plague rages, pitting people against each other. Yet you gather the energy to end this once and for all. Hopefully it works. 
What can I really do? With my magic. Leaving the lifeless Thimford village behind, you approach the manier in Abias. The roads and the bridge are stained with blood, but the bodies have been taken away. On the other side of the bridge, near the manier, are some fresh graves and regiment of guards. One of the guards recognizes the ache and waves. <coughs> ache! Is it really you? I'm going to Ursus, huh? Is it... Going to Ursus, huh? Is it special assignment or are you just heading home? Ake leaps uh, from his horse. Where I'm going shouldn't concern you, my friend. Let's just say I'm escorting someone important, a scribe, a mage licensed by the temple. The guard pushes back his helmet. Listen, could his importance maybe maybe help us? We have orders to bury the villagers' remains and to remove the abominable sign from the manier. We have done the first, but the second, it doesn't come off. Obviously, you shouldn't touch it with bare hands, but we already tried everything. Uh, let's just inspect the man here. You give Ake a note and dismount. Glancing at the gates, you approach the man here. One grave is slightly older and, and smaller. The other looks fresh. The stink of decay hits you like a hammer. The reaper sign of the man here seems uh, to glow from within. The guard trails behind you. This is where we buried the villagers. <clears throat> Parts of them, I should say. I've never seen anything like it. It's like they were hit by a rain of steel. We found the watchman assigned to dispose in the other grave. The grave was here already when we arrived, and we had to exhume them to find out. The fellows lying there have barely been wounded, but their blood has been drained. I think Torn Brennan buried them. Nobody else from Albius traveled that way. He couldn't have killed them, could he? Because he went to the trouble of burying them. You shake your head. <clears throat> I haven't met the storm, but it's the ancestors who drain the blood from corpses. Some people call them abominations. Damn. This game sure likes to use the word abomination. Didn't you find their bodies? I guess not. They'd be hard to miss. Thor must have uh, run into them on the bridge. There's blood, but no bodies. He probably tossed them into the manas. You inspect the many once more. A mark like this won't come off no matter how hard you scrub it. It'll glow, however, faintly, until the reaping is over. It's stronger than a sign on the gates. The sacred stone. The guard throws up his arms. So what do we do? Prince Drag won't have this, and he'll take this road back to Ursus. Seeing the job unfinished is bound to get him all steamed up. Then we all have to have our, our asses in a sling. You cast another glance at the manier and feel a strange tingling in your arm. You imagine yourself touching the manier end and the reaper's sign, glowing ever so faintly, vanishing into the stone. You realize that you are not thinking straight. With great effort, you get control of yourself. Touch the manier! You walk right up to the manier and touch the sign with your hand, despite Ake's warning. There's a flash of blinding light and a powerful force knocks you down. Feels like you only out for a few seconds, but judging by Ake's swearing, maybe not. <clears throat> the big fellow seizes his stream of profanities and sighs heavily. You woke up, huh? We knew you didn't snuff, snuff it because you were still breathing. You slept for a whole day. Why in the blazes did you mess with the men here? To make the guards happy? The sign disappeared all... Right, but we lost an entire day, and now Torn is even farther away. With difficulty, you rise to your feet. Your arm is somehow less black. It was foolish of me, I agree. And the sign didn't disappear, it was just lying in wait. Let's hurry up, Ake. Otherwise, we will never catch up to Torn. In these times of trouble, you could use some of your youthful daring, for which you've been nicknamed Mad Thorn. It seems, though, that your daughter has it aplenty. Alright. Chapter 3. Oh, this is, uh... I see. This is Thorn's group. We are in... Dimford Village. Done, yeah, yeah. That's where we are, and we're just heading out to Odalan Pass. 
as the only place to go. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time!